this salt burns my skin out and makes me look, you know, disease ridden. So, in the essence of what you're saying, I spoke to somebody, and these, these older black guys are saying that it's time for the government to give us reparations. Now, flat out apology for what's happened to black people, you know, over the last 500 years in America. So, I was telling him, I'm sorry for even on your video, I'm going to stop. Okay, now, let me get back to the beginning. Now, I was sitting around with a bunch of OGs, and we're saying, we're discussing, and they were saying, it's time for America to give up reparations to apologize for what's happened to the African American over the last 500 years. And, since Obama's the president, now it's time for them to do that. And, a lot of black people that I've encountered have this sentiment, not that Obama should be the one to give up the reparations, but for the government to acknowledge the wrongdoing placed upon the government on the black people. And I told this man, and I'll repeat it to you, it is not in black America's best interest for a black president to hand out reparations or to show the respect of the government. In my opinion, if a black president, let it be this one or the next one or whoever, if a black president came to apologize to America for things that white presidents and popes and governments have done to African Americans or Americans of African descent or Africans therefore it should be a white person doing the apology and not a black person. It should be a white man or a white woman fixing what has happened and not a black man placed in position because it'll look to me that the black dude is just doing for brothers and sisters thus buying into a sort of stereotypical oh that's exactly what he would have done attitude I don't want white America to think a black man had to become president to bail out black America because if any problems have been created or need hardships being created or systematically placed in front of the black man they weren't done by a black man in other words Obama shouldn't apologize for George Washington Abraham Lincoln Jackson so on and so forth that's my take on the whole situation if America wants to atone for its evil deeds, those, they got to put one of their own faces on it. I'm sorry. It just would not look right in the public eye for the black president to fix black problems created by white America. Back in the day, I'll let it be known because not all white Americans benefited from that period in time. Not all have benefited from it. But, in the course of law, legislature, things written down, the white man have benefited gratefully on the laws placed against other men. Laws that are still on the books in different states, and different counties. Going through what I'm going through I ran into an old football coach, not one of my coaches, but an old football coach. He told me he had done some legal work and some white man had showed him some things in a law book. One of the laws that he had showed him is that if a black man had looked at a white woman for over 20 seconds or close to 20 seconds, that was considered rape. Period. Not, he raped her. Let's get some DNA. No, he looked at her for 20 seconds, and that's rape. 
There's another one. If you're a black man and you're walking down the street and you glance and someone has a television on and you look at their TV, it's not a peeping Tom rule. It's um, some kind of law or whatever where you can't be a black man walking down a sidewalk to look at that television. These are laws that are on the book. Um, instead of looking at the Constitution as something binding all men as men created equal, you know, we're still down in the Constitution as being less than human. Instead of taking it out of the Constitution completely, they amend it. The amendment states, oh, they're human enough. I don't know. I didn't read it. But in order to change the country we live in, we must make the laws that govern us. No white man, no Chinese, no Mexican, and no black man is above the laws created by the people. Now, these laws created back in the days were solely created to hamper justice and to keep people in a certain position. Now there's enough people to vote now there's enough young people to think that everything we vote on determines their future. The future of every child, boy, girl, white, black, Jewish, Spanish, Chinese, whatever culture, race, or whatever you are, the future is in our hands. We vote on your future. We destroy lives based on not understanding what we put our stamp of approval on. Then and only then will the black man get his due. Because if you write a law that best suits you, it best suits them too. And to put that law in a manner to where they see themselves as the primary need for this law to be will be the same use of the law when it was in their best interest to keep you in your place. You now have the power in this country to guide your country, to create and mold the country in your image. Before these last powers are stripped away, understand you must word your wishes correctly because you may get all the power in the world and not have any power to use it. You may have the greatest country backing you, but not have a country to be in. You may be the greatest thing that ever happened to our country, but if your voice is never heard in a manner to where every boy, girl, man or woman can understand, then you're just talking. And we in the street say one thing about talk, Talk is cheap, and actions speak louder than word. Actions beget consequences, and consequences create more actions. Until we as a people guide ourselves into the direction to where we write and control the laws that control us, we will always be, forever, a second-class citizen. If I spoke simple enough for everybody to understand what I just said, then those are the only words that I was allowed to be able to use because my education is limited to the only way I could speak to you, the only manner you can understand, basic common sense. Thank you for your time. If you find any knowledge in this, Pass it on.